And that's right, tell by the title, we brought Macy. How's this entrance make you feel? Ugh. Oh, oh. What's wrong with it? Ugh. Did it need to run a little Dude, bit? that's bad. <laughs> some powdered milk. Do you like milk? White. There's a little jellyfish right there, right there, right there. Look, look, see the little white thing? Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another viewer. Start of the day, we are at the missile silo. And that's right, tell by the title, we brought Macy. She's never been here. She's never seen it. She's maybe seen a couple videos here and there, but we're going to give her the full tour and you're going to get her reaction here on camera. But before we get in, I've got to let you know that Helix is sponsoring today's video. We got a brand new mattress for the missile silo. It's going to be perfect because it comes inside of a box and we can take it down there and it'll expand. So we've actually got a place to sleep, but more on Helix later. Starting off. Okay. You got to get out. Sorry. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Start now. What do you think of this entrance here? Yikes. What What do you mean, yikes? What does yikes mean? Can it looks like the state open, pen. Can you have her open the gate? The gate's a little tough to open, I'll be Does honest. Can electrocute me? No. Might, I mean. What, so you're not, you're not a fan of the razor wire and the... Ooh, it's, this is, listen, cool. this is for your protection, okay? You happen to see the dumpster on the way in that says, trespass, we will shoot you, did you? No. No, because <laughs> we're the ones shooting, so it's fine. Is this place you would call home? No. What about if Putin starts getting a little handsy? Would you call this home? You know what I mean? What's he doing with his hand? Touching buttons and shit, you know? Yo, go, go open it up, Banjo. We are headed to inside the missile silo. Macy's gonna see it for the very first time. We're gonna give you the full tour. Give her the full tour. Bring you guys along with. We'll see what she thinks. And like I said, we've got a mattress so we can actually stay here and sleep. You guys stay tuned. All right, you ready? Yes. How's this entrance make you feel? <laughs> what about if? What's wrong with you? Tell me this is not just inviting. It's not welcoming. It's so warm and homey. Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys got the mattress? Yeah. <laughs> you got right. the pillows. And we got some pillows. We're bringing down the helix. So come on down here. So you can see you got nice insulation here, keeping it high quality. What do you got? What's the plan here, Banjo? Watch out. There it is. Look out. There it is. Perfect. Let's see, that's what we got Helix. We got it comes in the box. Imagine getting a mattress down here and all around all these corners. It would never happen. So as we go through here, don't ask any questions about any of this stuff because I honestly have no idea what any of this is for. So here is where they had uh, one door. Okay. And then you would page in and then they'd let you into this room, but then this door would slam behind you. What is it? Oh, well, there is a bug in here. We should, there's a mosquito in here. Really? Yeah. Well, so they, the door slammed behind you. Uh -huh. So that way, if you're like an intruder, it'll kill you right then and there. And then if you gain the right passcode, you come through here. Okay. We have no idea why the scaffolding's here. It's just, it's been here. We haven't, we haven't done anything with it. Oh. This is blast door number one oh. of five. Ooh. It smells. What do you mean it smells? Like what? Like it smells like eggs. fresh pine. Let like it. eggs? Yeah. What kind of eggs you cook? And then we got blast door number two. Which blast door number two is in a little better shape than blast door number one. And you come through here, and then Banjo's favorite room in the house. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, they uh, came through here and gave us a nice touch up paint. Yeah, so come down in here. Yeah, this is the, this is the living quarters. Okay. This is where we're gonna be uh, setting up the new Helix mattress. So, I believe in you. You need help? You may carry this. You don't wanna look down? Wait, what? Where are you gonna, go? where are you gonna fall? It's right here. Okay. Welcome home. Oh, oh. What do you mean? This is it. You, you act like you're gonna fall through the floor. Isn't it just nice and warm and cozy in here? Why are there wrinkles? We got hungry earlier. What, you don't like it? What, she's not a fan. What? Look at you guys. Wait till we get this nice bed in here. Once this bed's put in here, Bed, Surprise, this is actually a 24 hour challenge. We're staying here on that bed tonight. I just get <laughs> All of us? With Banjo. <laughs> yeah, Banjo too. Yeah, everybody. everybody. Hey, it's a king. It's a king, man. Where do you want it? In that corner, you think? This is kind of where I want the bedding area. Today's video is sponsored by Helix. We're going to get this thing set up and ready to go. Like I said, super easy because it comes in a box. So you guys saw us. We got it all the way down from the top into the living quarters with ease. 
You guys stay tuned. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door with free shipping in the US. Everybody's different, Helix knows that, so they've made a sleep quiz to find your perfect mattress for you based on your body type and preferences. I'm personally a side sleeper and like a medium mattress. Based on my results, I got a Dusk Lux. It's super easy and safe to buy Helix mattress online and Helix has a 100 night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. Plus, Helix mattress have a 10 year warranty. And they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. Oh! Dude, this thing is soft. Shoo! Oh, what are you man. boys doing? There's room for, you, There's room for yeah. three! Well, we got that undone. It's super easy, so I just went whoosh, literally just popped up and now we have a mattress in here. I've personally had my Helix mattress in my house for months now and I love it. My favorite thing about it is I wake up and my back doesn't hurt. It is amazing. I love my Helix mattress and you will too. If you want to check out Helix, go to helixsleep.com slash flare and you get up to $200 off your own Helix mattress and two free pillows. Huge shout out to Helix for sponsoring today's video and finally we have a bed inside the missile silo. Thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, link down below if you guys wanna go check it out. And now it's time to give Macy a tour. All right, we are in the living quarter so far. What are your, what are your thoughts here? I mean, you've got a mattress. Talk about making it homey. Out the gate, we came out swinging, making it nice and homey. But other than that, how does this make you feel? Um, is it better or worse than you expected? This is worse. Well, didn't we didn't even do any of this, okay? The, yeah. the old owners left this, which we, when we renovate, we'll probably take most of the stuff out and start yeah. fresh. So just, let's just not look over there for now. Yeah. And let's it's look like at the main wire coming through. Like and pipes and, yeah, wires. But it's spacious. Yeah. yeah there's so many rooms for activities. Okay, I want to tell you what our layout idea is, okay. and then you can tell us if it's bad or if you have any better ideas. Here's our idea. Well, we, we have the bed where we want the beds, okay? okay? We're thinking maybe we could have that guy and then maybe some bunk beds. See, I'm a fan of, like, not many walls. I like the roundness. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want, like, we need a bathroom and walls in the bathroom probably. Yeah. No, you don't like the tub out in the open? I mean, taking a tub right right above that power line is usually probably not great, you don't, you don't like more likely, but four? the two by, yeah, you know, I mean. Like secure two by four that yeah. just floats. Oh my God. What's wrong with that? <sighs> It's, listen, no one's died yet. Okay, so I, personally, it's just me. I would hate to walk into this thing and then it's like a bunch of doors and walls everywhere because you wouldn't actually know what it really looks like. And then also framing walls on a circle, like to me is like kind of, I don't really want to mess with. So my opinion, open concept, okay? Studio apartment vibes, okay? You go to studio apartment, their pooper, it still has walls. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. So, but other than that, it's a studio Probably, apartment. Yeah. So I, I'm vibe the studio. So we think bunk beds and beds okay. over there. Okay. Here we got. Well, we want to keep it. I think we decided couch over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then movie projector, so we can watch some sweet movies, or maybe play COD. He talks about COD one more time. But the new game is sick. Oh, the new game is awesome. Oh, I don't know okay. if you. So you got to tell her about the painting. Are you gonna paint? Yeah. So we, our idea for paint: black ceiling, paint black ceiling. Hear me out. Black ceiling, and then like white or off white or light gray walls. So it's nice and light. Why the black ceiling? Because it'll hide. The black will hide like the. All the changes. In it'll the just look like, it'll just look clean, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think the black ceiling's gonna make it feel... No, I don't think it will. The thing is, if you do white ceiling, it, then it's like, then there's no like, it'll look like you're in like a safe room that they put like serial killers in. Like the little, you know what I mean? Like you can punch Like the infinity away. rooms with like yeah, the yeah, soft black wall. Black ceiling is just gonna be like... I like the idea of black. I think it'd be cool. Black We're doing black ceiling regardless, okay? Let's okay? do black ceiling. We, 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 we like, will. Are we, you we, coming <laughs> back after we do the black ceiling? No. Yeah. What? Why do you care? What? What do you mean? Okay, so we're thinking black ceiling. Just hear me out on the black ceilings, okay? I've seen it before. It looks sweet. Maybe not pure white, but like a lighter white. Maybe like a beige or cream. something. Cream. Hello. Maybe you can help us oh. find. <laughs> you are. She's having such a good time right now. This is yeah. You sleepy? We have a Helix mattress over there if you go, if you want to go try it out. Uh, and then LVT or P floor of some sort, like a wood grain. Maybe like a darker yeah, wood yeah. grain. I would say nothing like too light since. I want everything to be kind of light. Paint, you know, paint this because we don't know who Tracy is or whatever. But the, we paint all this so it's like fresh colored paint. Yeah. yeah. Probably figure out what to do with this guy. Yeah. Because that. A higher. Put him up a little bit. A little bit higher, I'd say. I didn't really think of anything over here. I mean, I think we were just going to kind of keep it open. Maybe some bean bags like or, something. Table or something. Or, oh, yeah, maybe that. Maybe a table. And then you come over here, and I know it's kind of tough to look past all this, but we need to put a bathroom. So we thought, because the plumbing is right here, we could run it and put the plumbing up against that wall, frame it in, and then that wall, you could put like the kitchen cabinets and stuff. Because then you, you would share a wall, like with the sink and the toilet and yeah. the faucet. 
So why why are we moving that stuff over? I because we have to wall the bathroom, and I don't want walls near the entrance. Because I want you to walk in and be like, "Whoa, this is a missile silo." I got you. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what they'll say when they walk in. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Why do we bring her? I don't know. She's killing. I thought this was gonna be a. a oh, she's gonna be well. This was a great. This is a great inve or investment that you did here. I, I don't know why I told you that this was a bad idea because this is actually a really good idea. Oh, I mean, look. Oh, that stuff's gonna be nasty now. I bet. Oh, we got some lunch for you. Ooh, they're moldy. Uh, See, oh we're gonna God. have. It'll be we'll have running water, we we'll refrigerator, sink, toilet, shower. We do have. You'll have everything. Water. Water. Look, we have drink. Look, right here. Get get down there. Got it all. Oh, oh, oh! What's wrong with it? Ugh. Did it need to run a little Dude, bit? That's bad. Huh? <laughs> 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 Straight shit. Put your mouth on. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh. Wait, how was it bad? Tough. Was it just like was it like musty? Because I'm definitely bad. Like I don't know if I've ever tasted water that. Bad. No way. Put, Put it in there. a cup. I want to see it. I wonder if it just got sat in the thing. What was it really that bad? Okay, we had fresh water. I thought. Here. Maybe we don't have fresh water. I don't. I don't really yeah, know. I mean, this thing. Well, how could it? It had to have just been sitting in this thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Because if it came through that little thing, we should be okay. It tastes like poo water. Poo? Poo water. What? You Who's got? Why poo? you got the wine glass? That looks clean. What looks poo about that? Dude, smell taste it. it. I want to smell it. Ooh. Wait, it smells, like, that? it smells like a fart. Oh, it smells like a fart. Wait, why does it smell like a fart? Wait, someone might have pooped in there. It smells like a fart. No way. <laughs> Pancho ate poop water. No way. Oh, God, that's probably equally as bad. Dude, it smells like a shark, dude. Like, come here, you got to smell I can't believe he tasted that. Here, here, here. No, dude, it, dude, it smells dude, like someone. Dude, dude somebody like pooped shit. in that. It tastes like shit. How do you know? How do you know? I was like, I mean, is it like musty? Is it moldy? Is it like I stagnant? Dude, it it, it smells. No, it they literally smells. It smells like a fart. Smell like it, it literally does. Just give it away. Let me hold it. Just give it, give, it give it away and tell me if you would you would drink that. Dude, I'm definitely gonna die now. You're dead for sure. <laughs> Oh, Holy <laughs> shit, it's COVID! You too? Wait, if you can't smell that, you probably have COVID. L like, real no, talk. That smells like poop. It like, smells like, like somebody took a diarrhea. Gym. Yeah. Like, bad poop. No. Oh. There it is. <laughs> it literally <laughs> smells like a fart. Yeah. It didn't taste like one, too. I can't believe Banjo on fart water. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, well, I'm never drinking out of this again. I mean, there's no way. It's probably still, it's gotta be, <laughs> it's still fart water. That is not good. That's bad. How do you, how do you? Dude, like, I've never tasted something that bad. Like, how do you get that water to smell like that, though? I would pay $100 to drink that. No, there's Dude, no it's way. It's getting worse. Dude, it, it, it's like a fart and like a ripe foot. <laughs> like, it's right got. Foot. I think diarrhea. Dude, like, it's bad. That's not good. Anyway, so we're. Okay, so, you, I mean, you let us know if the plans or we can go home and rewrite it. But I really want the idea of you coming in and seeing. At minimum, like this half yeah. open, and then if it's like walled beyond that, it's like okay. But I don't think there's any reason to wall off the bedrooms, okay? It's like a studio apartment, it's like a cabin, okay? Yeah. Bathroom, and then you would have some walls around the bathroom, so maybe you could have like your backdrop of your kitchen there. You need a place to hang, you don't want to hang cabinets on that, I would imagine, you yeah. know? So, what do you think about that? You like that idea? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, you're still not on team black ceiling though? No. Okay, well, we'll do that anyways. So we'll all white? What was uh, your idea? I don't know. Would you leave this and just paint these? You'd, you'd probably paint it white and then do something darker on the walls. Yeah. Right. Probably. Yeah. We'll see. So then over here, this is the old escape hatch. So it says, do not pull uh, only in case of emergency. I don't think it's connected to anything. So not anymore, but it was. So this thing was connected to that screwdriver, that screwdriver which they had some before that. But, and then what it does is there's a, that door goes, boom, and it drops. And then it would drop like a couple tons of sand down because there was sand because because they didn't want it to be air, because if a nuclear blast went off, this door would go whoosh. Well, sand is basically like, it's almost like having like a concrete wall. Okay. You good? He's gonna take a nap. So the sand would kind of prevent the blast from coming through, because this is an escape hatch. Okay. This goes to the surface of the earth. Uh, so it's sand, so you'd pull it, this place would fill with sand, you'd climb up, you go to safety. If, if a nuke went off. Big old hammer strapped to the wall, too, because in a nuke, they said the heat would turn the top layer of sand to glass. So you'd and then you'd break the glass. Break the glass and get out. Well, so we have not explored that yet, but at some point, we might have to crawl so up there. Still sand no. there? No. No, the owner let it out in here and then hauled it up five-gallon bucket at a time. Yeah. 
like two tons of sand. See, aren't they you glad? So aren't you glad it's at least in a livable condition? You know, they have good running water. <laughs> good running water. Well, that's questionable. The water's running. Bad water. Not that's some nasty water. So we gotta we have to investigate all that. I mean, they left us some nice stuff though. I mean, this is all got some nice ziplocks. Oh, where's your infinity uh, light, Banjo? Banjo's got a nice. Like infinity. you have to go like that for? Is that what? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Banjo's little jerk light. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's the infinity light. Are you impressed? No batteries. There's no batteries no. needed. It's based right. off of inertia. Well, you should get a crank light. We, we have, have one, one, by the way. Cooler. This one's way better. You gotta turn That's the off. jerk light. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, see, my dad used to stock our cars with these crank lights. Can he, can he you spare a couple for us? Because our two lights suck. Well, I don't know. The zombies are coming or what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You're not impressed it with our light situation? Yeah, it, wasn't like it was an actual crank one. Oh, ah, so we need to fix that. And we got, look, we got MREs, mm. so you can if survive. If the world ends, would you eat these? If the world ends, take me with it. Bro, wh why'd, why'd I buy this why then? Buy why'd I buy this? Someone take you, you want it back? The owner wants this thing back? Because she don't want to live here, I guess. I'll the MREs and I'll stay here. Banjo's going to live here. So you're telling me, if Putin starts getting handsy, you wouldn't come down here? If I knew that the world was ending, just take me. Well, it's like, what if, like, not the world's ending, but, like, there's crisis up above? Would you come down here, or you just be like, hopefully they bomb me today? Well, no, I You ever seen I Am Legend? Oh, I would mess some zombies up. This would be the perfect place for it, too. You have a place to go. You've never seen I Am Legend? No. Will Smith yeah. and the German Trapper? Yeah, yeah, Kid yeah, yeah. me? Yeah. It's a great movie, by the way. I would be him. I would shoot all the zombies. So you're telling me you wouldn't, you wouldn't stay here? Well, let me show you the rest of the place before you make up your mind, because yeah. it gets... <laughs> Yeah, sure. The real silo. That's it gets it gets better. So okay, living quarters could use a little bit. Of, no, it could use a lot of work. But again, okay, before we leave it, this room, is it is the living quarters better or worse than you expected? I don't know. I didn't really have anything in my mind. Does it have potential if we renovate it? Potential do you believe Do you believe what? in beefcake construction to make this thing? Yeah. Homey. Yeah. I think you so. do. I think so you so. do and believe in it. Would enough. you come back and stay here potentially? I would not stay here. Overnight. You no, wouldn't. You wouldn't sleep here overnight. Okay, well, I tried, so. Okay, so we're leaving Banjo's favorite room in the house, this guy. He, that's his signature move. That's Banjo's right there. He, he leaves his mark everywhere he goes, so. Okay, come around here. Don't mind the uh, exposed electrical. Come down here. So now we're headed down into, this is where the, what would be the HQ, I guess, or the, the control center uh, was when this thing was in operation. Welcome. This is Jason's area. As you can see, Jason's been here too. See the difference between Banjo and Jason? Oh, you listen? What does that sound? Did you turn the pump on? The well? The garden hose is running. Huh? It's from the sump in the... Oh, so it's pumping? Stereo. It's pumping it out. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Oh, it's probably just from the rain. Okay, anyways, hey, welcome to the, uh, this is the command center. Jason's been here. He marks his territory like Banjo does. I can see his mark, he's just Jason on the wall there. Um, okay. He's a nice guy. Uh, so in here, this is the command center. This is where they had all of the, they hit a button and the rocket would go, take off. Okay. So this is exactly, pretty much almost identical to what upstairs looked like. So if, we've come a long ways. Which one's better, downstairs or upstairs? You're telling me you'd rather sleep in here than upstairs? Yeah, so that's what I thought. Insulation goes a long ways compared to what you think. Uh, plus the floor, we got brand new floor up there. Yeah, there's no, you there, got some minimal, nice- Minimal holes. Yeah, yeah, don't watch your step. So, what do you think of this area down here? Are you impressed with this area or? Yeah, what, what about some ideas? How do we, what do we do with this spot? I don't spot? Even know. You don't know where to start? What do, we, what do we make this room into? Cause we don't need more living quarters. Yeah. What do we store down here? The bodies? God, Jake, you're making me nervous. What, it's not, what's, he, he's not, this doesn't go down in the middle of the earth, it's just, there's a floor. There's storage down there. There's a bunch of food. Oh. You want to go down? You want to try some MREs? No. No. Oh, no. Really? You remember how like this whole thing floats? Oh yeah. So this thing. Uh, yeah, this thing is is ready to. Yeah. So you look here. The whole thing's suspended, so it'll during a shock, it, the yeah. whole thing moves. The floor does. So that way, yeah, everything doesn't break. Hmm. Yeah. You there's like a lot that? of knitting supplies down there. Yeah, there's so some like, nice knitting supplies. We go start down there. Knitting them. supplies. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you want to knit. It, so. huh. Yeah. There's a bunch of buckets oh, under under the floor. Under the floor, there's, there's, there's a bunch of buckets. Right here, there's a, there's a hatch. There's a hatch, yeah. And you go down there. There's a little ladder or something. That's scary. You're not, you're not feeling that one? What about all these batteries from the uh, 90s? Think, what do, we, do you have any ideas on what we could do with that? Toss them. Really? Where? Where are you going to put them? I don't know. In the silo? 
<laughs> Water can't taste any worse, Banjo. I mean, <laughs> I don't, the batteries might help. It tastes like battery acid. It, it, ass. It, yes. Yeah, acid, yeah. yeah. And then here's, this is our, this is, if, if Putin starts getting hands in, we all live here. But this is our food ration. How does it make you feel? It looks really old. Is that hot, just solid? It, yeah, it's just it's dense. There ain't, there ain't. There's some powdered milk. You like milk? White sugar. Got like a baking supply. Yeah. How long do you think you survive off this food? Like the four of us? Sure. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Well, oh. mm, a month, maybe? A month? Yeah, cheese and rice. Oh. Eat like one MRE a day and ration that sucker. I guess I don't know how far back it goes. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit. Some olive oil, in case you need that. ABC soup mix. Oh, this one's not. Oh, it's like ABC, like alphabet soup? Yeah. See, we got plenty of that. I mean, that can could feed us for a day or two, you think? Yeah. If the world's coming to an end and we need to come down here, would you eat this food? I guess. Yeah. I'd have Versus to. Versus dying. It can't be that bad. What is it? Beef flavored TVP. What's TVP? Any ideas? No. We got at some point we're going to break the, into these things, make sure they're good. Textured vegetable protein. I'll pass on that. What one. does that even mean? Beef flavored fake beef. Beyond? Beyond? They were ahead of their time. It's like 25 years ago. At some point we're going to have to get into this stuff to make sure it's still good because if it's not, we got to replenish. Like a full, I would say our goal should be one year. If you can survive down here for one year, I think that would be pretty good. Would you survive down here for one year? You think you could make it for one year without seeing daylight? We need a camera. What if we have Call of Duty though? Yeah, no. Ooh, I could live two years. God. What do you mean? You need a can opener. We need a can opener. So to get through before there? the world ends, we should probably get we a can opener. We should probably get a can opener. So food rations here. There's stuff stored under the floor. Do you need a nap? Do we need to go take a nap on the helix? She's really enjoying this right now. I don't know what time it is. That's the best part about the silo. It's a party all the time. We haven't gotten to the best part yet, okay? We're gonna go further down. I just wanna remind you that we're like 70 feet below. I don't below. really need the reminder. Okay, I just wanna tell you. So then through here. This is the tunnel to happiness. Is that thing still running? Yeah, so we're down there, where does that go? Probably just into the silo, I don't know. Oh, okay. Or the septic, I guess. I don't, I don't know, I'm not really sure. No so, all right, so this is the tunnel. Oh, it's not wet in here. That's good. Yeah, we did a good job. It's it was a little wet above you. Oh yeah, it is a little wet. Probably not as good as How does this make you feel? Hmm. You're not sure about it? <laughs> huh. This is the safest spot in Whose the place. Whose drink is that? Banjo, you leave your freaking Taco Bell iced coffee down here? No wonder the water tastes like poop. Hey, I'll drink this over that stuff. Yeah, the water? I do not take a swig of that. No, you won't. Oh <laughs> my god. That's, that's way better. No. Than that. yeah. <laughs> We gotta ride back with him. He's gonna be pooping for sure. Yeah, this is where this is where the water comes from, man. Just so your your poop water is somewhere in this vicinity, I think. I ain't drinking that ever again. All right, so door number this would be door blast number three. Four, four, four. Three's behind us. Oh yeah, three. Yeah, sorry, I missed you. That three's right there. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. Mm -hmm. Excited for this? You gotta crawl through this. Yeah, yeah there's two, two, of two of them. Two of them. The other ones. Second this other one's a lot smaller. All right, so you come through here. Watch your step. Here, can we hold your hand? You're good. You gonna hold my hand too? Yeah, I'll hold you. So that was blast number number four. You can see behind you. See it's number number four. Yeah, I see that. Okay, number this is number five. Ow. Ah, eh, I don't like this. What's what's wrong with it? <laughs> Wait, hang on, I gotta get the light yeah, on so you can see. Alright, you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. That makes it less scary, right? With the light. Cool. You can actually see what you're looking at. Can you yell shoe? Shoe. You gotta no, yell, yell it. it. Shoe. Oh, wow. <laughs> shoe. See? You like that? Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> the actual silo itself. See, is our boat still floating down there? Boat's still down there. We got a nice little life raft. What are you, what are you thinking? This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. The silo part itself? Yeah. What was that? Oh, okay. Shut up. <laughs> what this is held up by is this this platform here is held up by this chain, which is connected to that door. Okay. You're, I think, good. We're on concrete. You're on concrete. <laughs> I'm not. We brought this. Oh yeah, up. we brought. We, we found that. We oh. we use the magnet. The okay. It came out of the bottom of that silo. Just a piece. There's a lot stuff. of those. There's a lot. It took us like yeah. an hour to get it up here. Yeah, it took a while. 
You gonna show her that you're on or Jesus Jake. My bad. Didn't mean to step Jeez on it. She's in yeah, right. Everything is very loud down here. Yeah. Like if you yeah. have a drill, it's just super loud. Yeah. Yeah, do you wanna drive the drone down to the bottom and see what it looks like? Sure. You ever piloted one of these? No. Close. Boom. Splash. I just don't wanna get tangled around in that rope. So you don't smell really impressed with those things so far. It's kind of creepy. What's creepy about it? I don't know. All right, boys, we are going straight down. Does it look a banjo? It's looking good. About 20 feet down. Yep, we're at, right at 20. Look at you, banjo. We are right at 100. See? Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to see something. Whoa, that's a big piece there. Whoa. It'd be weird if we saw like a hand or something. Hey, there's a dead body in here. We just gotta find it. I don't know it. that. But he said there is. See the ladder down there? Mm-hmm. Yep, she doesn't seem overly impressed with this. Well, I see the ladder. It's just a ladder. Bro, just a ladder. it's just a the ladder from the 1962. The ladder has feelings, dude. Jeez. Yeah, like imagine if there was a bar. Like, how would you ever find it? I feel like it'd be impossible. You'd spend so much time just sifting through. See this thing right here? Well, put this here to bring things out. Oh, In case we find the body. If you find that body, I don't think you're bringing it up yourself. You know, you know, that so, you know how strong I am? No, I'm saying you shouldn't. Low battery. You better come up. Really? Yeah, we've never charged it. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess if it dies, we... There's a little jellyfish right there, right there, right there. Look, look, see the little white thing? There's, like, nothing. Bruh. <laughs> you could've been like, oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> no. Bro, I found the, one, the last jellyfish. All right, good luck. Why is it, why is, she, is it so intense? It's not moving. What is it doing? Oh, you just barrel rolled it. It's, to, it's gonna, it's gonna intake water, it's gonna ruin it now. Shut up, no it's not. <laughs> well, you gotta like this thing, don't you? Yeah. You want one? <laughs> she don't like the silo, she just wants the drone, got it, okay. Oh, I forgot this thing's a little battery. Should probably bring it up. Yeah, oh. true. Yeah, okay. good piling though. That's good. Better, better than I expected. But you're you're more of a fan of this thing than uh, the actual silo itself. Yeah. Well, we drove it. You saw the bottom. You almost saw jellyfish. If you were, you had to be a little faster than that. There were a couple jellyfish in there though. You, you can do it. I, you, you got it. All right. Bam. How do I turn the sucker off? Hold this. Thanks for flying with. Uh, Beefcake and Missile Silo Airlines. Really? Overall, Missile Silo fan or no fan? What about any renovation ideas? You always go, we seem like you got the ideas. <laughs> I don't what do you do with, what do you do with this? I don't know. I asked myself that. Do you when want I to open it. the doors? Do you think it'd be cooler if you could like see the sunlight? I don't know. That would almost be freaky. Why would it be freaky? You see the know. you see the sun. Then it's like you're you not you don't drop like a real boat in here. Like. Imagine if we like opened up the doors though and you bungee jump right down to water level. What if we did indoor skydiving? Drained it indoor skydiving, start cha charging everybody. Well, if their if their bungee goes a little too far, speared eye beam. <laughs> it would happen Tension. probably though, yeah. We'd probably have to yeah. remove all that stuff. Indoor yeah. skydiving would be cool though. Yeah. yeah. But like there's big fans under there. Have you ever done that? It's fun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, course, yeah. yeah, of course he's. He, he's. he's well, well, I've done it. Yeah. yeah, we've done it. I wasn't very good <laughs> at it. I'll be honest. Well. Why did I miss out on all it's this fun, fun stuff? I wasn't good at it. I don't know why. Yeah, I just spin. Yeah, I just barrel rolled a bunch. And they didn't let you. They had an instructor like oh, did they hold, hold on yet? to. Oh yeah, they held. He held my hand. I couldn't That's go on my cute. own. So, anyways, how'd that make you feel? But look how cold it is. See, wouldn't you want to live down there? Think about that. Bomb goes off. End of the world. Those dudes with the normal shelters, they would have to have heat, AC. You don't have to have any of that. I guess not. A ton of bottled water and MREs. I think it'd be fine. And cold. I'd, I'd, and cod. I'd miss the sun up after three days. You think so? Three days? I can, oh, go three I can take days. that. I can, that. I can take that light and just really? all in your face, Gosh. and then that'd give you the vitamin D you need. I don't know. You don't that. think that would work? You sure? <laughs> that was the. Well, oh, cold. yeah, sure. Okay, see how cold it is? Yeah, it's really you cold. You want to go back down, don't you? No, I want to like, go Here, here, no, let's, go, let's go in here. Okay, we just got to get, get, out, get out of the wind. But overall, took Macy all the way down, experienced the whole thing. You promised you would never, ever step foot in here. And then you did. I don't think you I did. promised I would never step foot in here. Mm, Not 1,000%. I, I think I heard he it was too. talking about buying this thing. You said, I will never go in there. <laughs> You said never. Word for word. Okay. And you changed your mind. Yeah. 
So overall, overall thoughts. Um, it's scary. How scary though? I mean, what, what part it's of it's scary? It's not like spooky scary. Not spooky scary. So what, what's scary? Let's describe. It's just like. Mm. Like poop water scary. Like claustrophobic. <laughs> it. I didn't get that vibe though. See, the thing, the first time I went down there though, like the very, I did was a little like eh. Go down there like five, six times, like then you'll you'll be yeah, fine. Like yeah. it feels like my basement, in my house. Not at this point. Like it's no different. You know what I mean? Is does something with down there make her want to just take a nap? Was it the bed? Seeing that bed make you want to take a nap? <laughs> Tough day. Huh? Working too hard today. Or yeah. What are we doing? Just want to take a nap all the time. Yeah. That we're thinking. It's how so how many dark. days? How many days do you think you would be able to stay down there? Like it. Like let's just let's just hypothetically say they're like. Everybody, take cover. Putin may or may not be launching nukes. And it's like you have to wait it out. You don't really know what's going to happen. How many days would you be able to stay down there? I With all the food and water you'd ever need. I think if I pushed myself, probably up to two weeks. That's two weeks bad. ain't bad. If you than pushed I expected yourself. Her body. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, if I pushed myself, two days. Two days. Max. <laughs> two weeks ain't I mean, as long as you like peek out there and you're like, all right, there's no nuke in the sky. You go out and get some fresh air. I mean, we got seven acres out here. Look, you've got the mini truck that's out here. I mean, we'll have a fishing pond here soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can't be that. It's been, there's worse out there, I bet. Yeah, I'm sure. So gotta, like, overall, was it a good purchase or a bad purchase? That's what everyone wants to know. Could we have used the money and put it into better use or was this a good investment? I mean, I'm sure there is a better use. No. I mean, nothing is better than an underground missile site, okay? <laughs> no, nothing. It's not a bad purchase. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> dub. Team, team Stra silo. Straight up dub. <laughs> Macy is, in fact, team missile silo. Well, we got to go brave the cold. It is literally like 34 degrees, blown out of the north. Like, it is freezing right now. And just inside there, oh yeah, she's getting, she's getting in big share. See ya. Uh, down inside there is a balmy, like 55, 60 degrees. So hope you enjoyed today's video. We gave Macy the tour. We got the green light. She doesn't hate me. She thinks it's a decent investment. Just wait, wait till we remodel it. Wait till there's a sweet pond right there. Maybe we'll put a little shouse cabin hunting thing there. I don't know what we're gonna end up doing with this property, but overall, she doesn't hate it. So now I've got the green light to put some money into this thing and make it even more livable. Because if she would just, no matter what, never stay down, no matter how nice it is, then what's the point of putting money in Banjo? Exactly. So now we got the green light. Yep. We got two weeks right now. Imagine if we make this better, how many weeks we yeah. have. That's what I'm saying. You get Call of Duty in there, it'll be over at least four weeks. Yeah, four weeks at sure. least. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you in the end.